Hey, it's just so Trish, and I've got a couple of my kids with you, and we want to show off my Christmas box. Okay, this is not just any Christmas box. This is a special one. So I started collecting my Christmas crafts. Just an idea to get some crafts, and I wanted to put it together, especially with living in a little house. Ooh, it's falling off. And my back up, they can't see you. There, now they can see you. And so my idea was I would go ahead and collect some ideas and some crafts. And to make sure I'd do it, I'd keep it in the in the house, in the middle of everything that's going on. And so I picked up this box. So some of my items I picked up, I got either on Black Friday at Michael's, or I actually bought a good part of them at Dollar General, and I was really impressed with what I got. So I'm going to show you what I have. Let me see if I can organize because you know I'm going to have to do this in one round. Okay. So here's our box. Thankfully everything kind of fits for the most part in our box. As we start doing them, it'll the box will get thinner. And these are the really cool things I got. So I'm going to do the Dollar General stuff first because, well, it's on top. I have to say between Michael's and Dollar General, there was some really cool crafts at Michael's that are typical in that area and they were like around 50% off but even still they were kind of expensive because I have to buy enough for six kids. So there was some stuff that was like, mm, I don't think that's gonna work for us. Okay, so Dollar General had these really cool ornament sets. They're the 3D snow kits, holiday stuff, I don't know, I'm just reading them. But I mean, they have everything you need inside, typical, which I love. I know I could do, this on my own but you know i don't have time and i'm a busy mom so there you go so it was nice that i'd have enough for everybody to do one for two dollars Woohoo! i know dollar general it's already that time of year it's i think they've sold out of everything already don't be loud in there because we can hear you we can hear you she's trying to make lunch all right um i found this this is eight counts so you'll make eight of these and they're all foamies and wires and everything else, you know, for a dollar. Yes, and then there's um, the foam activity for the reindeer. And there's five of these, again, for a dollar. Dollar general for the win. Okay, um, what else do I have that I got from that? Hey, what do I also got, oh, we'll get there. I also picked up these, like, cute erasers. Racer in, so there's a tree. And I don't know if your store will still have them. Um, yeah, I probably should have given you this video earlier. But, you know, it's the 10th, and I'm still finally getting in, doing everything. I can't get them open. Maybe I can. But I thought these would be fun, just to be festive kind of deal. Oh, here we go. So there's a couple of shapes. So see, there's um, a snowman. Yeah, they go on the end of a pencil. Santa, <laughs> and a Christmas tree. I thought those were cool. Okay. I love these. You probably see them at the Dollar General all the time. They love them. Um, they love them. And what I really love about this set of creative faces that you can typically find at Dollar General, it's small. It's not huge. It's, it's absolutely small. So you have the stickers. If you haven't seen these before, they're super cute. They have a ton of stickers, and then you add the faces to everybody. See, and there's actually on both sides. You love these? Yep. Yeah. So, I knew that they would be loved enough. I got two. I got two. And we these, also got that And we also got nutcrackers. And it's about the same as the other ones. A little bit different. There's one more thing I got. Where did it go? Oh, here's my last item I picked up from the Dollar General. No, I didn't. I picked these up. Nope, this is Michael's. So here's what I got from Michael's. And I got these at half off. I love these. These are the little um, watercolor ones. So the watercolors down here, you use a little water and a Q-tip and you can paint everything. Yep. And so it just had some cute ones. So, I mean, $1.50, it was $1.50 original, and I got them for, I think, half that? It's called dairy. Yeah, I think I got that for 75 idea. cents. Whole idea. Um, I found these I thought were cute. 
Again, they're $1.50, and it only came enough to do, they said seven pieces, so it makes three um, keychains, but they're shrinky dinks. And so I got the same two, and they're shrinky dinks, so, you know, $1.50 for two, because they were on sale. You do got this one, too. Oh, yeah, I love these, so that's a llama. And I had these before. One of my favorite things to do with them is to laminate the little squares so we can um, reuse the pattern. So it's, you know, it comes with a, it comes with a board. It comes with a board. See, aren't those cute? Yeah. And are. the pattern and the beads. And these were, you know, $1.50 each. So pick those up. Oh, I did find these at Dollar General. I don't know what to use them for yet. But aren't they really cute? They're like little tiny figurines. So there's like a snowman, a little tree. I just figured the kids would enjoy using those. Yeah. Okay. No. You want me to get to these for now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The no okay. I found these at Michael's. Um, this is originally $8 for this little set. But again, it was half, I think it was half off. It could have been 30% off. Um, and they came to be about a dollar a piece and I was like, okay, that's fine. So this one came with four. Um, we have all the colors here. Now I'm going to put a link below. We like using yellow spot sun and she has like a $4 tutorial on painting a nutcracker and it's super cute and you could totally do it like painting with a twist that everybody can sit around at the table and go ahead and do a painting of a nutcracker but why i bring that up is our yellow spot sun art collection has all of our acrylic paints so we're not we may one of the little kids might get this one but i have all the colors so we won't have a problem with paint because to me that's just not enough paint kind of deal and i picked up two of them so we can all have our own to do yeah okay um i picked up Stickers, I love stickers. I actually love these create, um, yep. cre Createology sticker books that I get from Michaels. They're a dollar. I think they're a great opportunity. So I like Silent. They had this one of the nativity thing called Silent Night. Yeah. I can't get it to flip. So it's, and it's typically, you know, just a few sheets. But for a dollar, I just, I love having them. And then I picked up this Holly Jolly time so I'm always expanding my sticker collection I love stickers I should have grown out of them by now but I love 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 stickers yep. so thought those were cute all right and I found this last project at Michael's and I'm excited to get into this it's 10 piece but I think it only makes four so it's definitely for my older four and it's a foiling project that they will foil kind of deal and then my very last thing, I picked this one up at Sam's, actually. Who had me that 1,000 thumbs up? 1,000 thumbs up. They should give me a thumbs up? Yeah. You should get in there and tell them. Let them see you. You did pull the thumbs up. Why, 1,000? He said you should give her a thumbs up like 1,000. I kind of agree with him. You should give me a thumbs up. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so here's the folk art one. I thought this was cool to do. Um, just something for my older girls to work on, like when we're doing read aloud. And that's kind of some of the premise. Like some of the stuff we'll do during read aloud time and just having times to just create while we're in the season right now. And I picked this one up from Sam's. It has some transfers. You know, it has some transfers that you can transfer onto the fabric. And it walks you through different projects to do. And just doing the embroidery. So I thought that would be something fun to do. And then it comes with the fabric thread and the ring. So that is our Christmas box. Yeah. Um, I kind of like this idea. I like how pretty they make these beautiful boxes. Um, you can typically get them on sale and um, just kind of fill them up. And then this way it keeps me mindful that we should do some of these things. And it's we kind of bring it together in our read aloud. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like these ideas. I try to keep it as simple as possible because I don't want to have to go find a bunch of things or tools in order to get 
projects made and to have fun. And at the same time, um, I need to keep it inexpensive. So, you know, I could probably come up with some of these ideas and design them myself, but I don't have time for that. So I want to just buy them ready to go and ready to make. And yet I need to do it affordably. And I have to say, I felt like the big winner was the Dollar General. I was really impressed with the selection of little fun things they have. I like Michael's. They have high quality, but they're, they were, they were hard to afford. I will tell you that. So I hope you like this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit the button down there. Actually, I'll put a button on the screen and I hope maybe one of these videos, maybe there'll be a video that comes up on the screen that you might like to watch. So anyways, give me a thumbs up if you can. You guys say goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, you guys are so funny. All right, we'll see you later.